Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to draw human ear in the very simplest way because human ear is very difficult to draw. So I have made some shortcuts for you that will help you out to draw human ear in the easiest way in your exam. Just remember this alphabet somewhat C. So just make it like ear like C. Now, after this, what we need to understand, we need to draw a cone-like structure, somewhat like this. And when we extend it here, it becomes something like this part which I am drawing is actually the ear drum. Now, we all know to write the alphabet N. Make it little bit bent. So, this becomes the N. You all have written the number 2. So let's write it in this way. So, it is somewhat mirror image of S. So, this became 2. Now, draw a cone. Now, cone we all have drawn somewhere. This becomes the cone part. So like this you can draw all the three year ossicles. Now you all have drawn the diagram of spiral. Something like this. This is the diagram that we used to do in our childhood. The same spiral will come here and join it and make it like this. This is cochlea basically. Now all of you have learned to draw the tree in your school days. So this is how we draw tree in our school days. So now this tree will help us out. Draw straight one and put a double. Now we are going two only. We will never take three because the semicircular canal is actually two and a half. So this is double. Now bring the half one outside like this. So it says it is two complete and one half done. Now here we will. This is the auditory nerve and which goes and connects to the temporal lobe of the brain. Let's provide a covering on the ear. So this is the covering. And there will be one more covering from the town which will form the eustachian tube. So this tube is very much important. In the ear you will find glands. Those are called as ceruminous glands. So I draw these glands as the ceruminous glands. And bit of curve in the ear that we normally see in the pinna. So this is how you can draw the human ear diagram in the easiest way. Let's try and understand the labelings of the human ear. So the very first part we label it as pinna. So when we talk about pinna. The pinna is nothing but it is the outer visible part of the ear and this pinna helps in the collection of sound. So it can be also called as auricle. This is auditory canal and the role of the auditory canal is to transfer the waves of the air to the eardrum. And this eardrum when it vibrates, it transfers the sound in the form of impulse further. Eardrum is also called as tympanic membrane. These are the three ear ossicles the smallest bone of our body. So we have malleus, incus and stapes. Out of these the stapes is the smallest one. Malleus is known as hammer, incus is known as anvil and stapes is known as tira. Then what comes down here is the eustachian tube. The role of the eustachian tube is to equalize the air pressure in both the ears. This is semicircular canal having two and a half turn. And this semicircular canal helps in the balance of the body while in stationary or while in motion. And this is cochlea, the snail like structure and we have the auditory nerve. The auditory nerve connects to the temporal lobe of the brain. So let's understand the various parts of the ear. I put it in three parts, outer ear, middle ear and the inner ear. So when we talk about outer ear, logically we need to understand that the outer ear is made up of the pinna. The, that is auricle, function is collection of sound. Second is auditory canal, which helps in the transfer of the sound to the eardrum. And third, we have eardrum, also known as tympanic membrane, which vibrates and converts the sound into impulse. And finally, we have the middle ear. So, when you talk about middle ear, it includes ear ossicles, malleus, incus, and stapes, three smallest bone of our body. Among this, stapes is the smallest one. Then we have oval window which is between the stapes and the inner ear. Then we have round window which connects the middle ear and the inner ear. And we have eustachian tube which equalizes the air pressure. So it connects the pharynx basically. And we talk about the inner ear. It includes semicircular canal 
the nerier also consist of utriculus and saculus utriculus and saculus together they are called as otolith organ and it has a cochlea which is connected to the auditory nerve hope oh, friends you have understood the concept of ear don't forget to give a like to the video and if you are new do subscribe thank you very much